This is a story we've been following all week long. A senior community kicking out a teen after both of his parents died, saying that teen can't live with his grandparents. ABC 15's Adam Waltz digs into the legality of the HOA's claim. I've stepped in things that I find nicer than you people. An understandably angry Prescott grandmother, Melody Passmore taking in her 15-year-old grandson, Colin, whose parents died just two weeks apart. However, the HOA at the gardens at Willow Creek had other ideas, sending a letter to the Passmore saying Colin has to go. It just seems so heartless. ABC 15 sharing the story that soon went viral. Now we're taking action, looking into the legality of the HOA's claim, something not unfamiliar in Arizona. They were threatening to kick, not only kick him out, but kick out uh, the grandparents. Youngtown, Arizona was the nation's first age-restricted community. In the 90s, when a teen was taken in by his grandparents in a hardship situation, Youngtown attempted to kick them out. The then Attorney General stepped in. And he uh, was shooting baskets. Uh, into the night uh, outside uh, in the driveway. And uh, a lot of these oldsters didn't like that. Woods sided with the family, finding that Youngtown didn't file their age restrictions correctly, and the kid was able to stay with his family. It seemed to me that uh, the right thing to do is to show a little compassion. The Fair Housing Act protects home buyers from discrimination, including age discrimination, but senior living communities have etched themselves a little loophole. One of the reasons senior communities can get around this is if at least 80% of the homes are occupied with somebody 55 or older. Former AG Grant Woods says in this Prescott case, he favors compassion over the rule book. What would you want him to do? Turn him away? Oh, I'm sorry, you have to go live on the streets because I, we live in a 55 and older community. When a tragedy uh, strikes a family in your community, I would think that these old people who live there would walk over and say, how can we help? A lawyer for Gardens at Willow Creek issued a statement saying they are working with lawyers for the family. According to their CC and R's, the HOA's board can also make an exception and let Collins stay. Woods also saying that he would be willing to volunteer his time to mediate the situation free of charge. Adam Waltz, ABC 15, Arizona.